I said I'm originally from Texas. I'm from East Texas. This is my second time in Atlanta. Uh, the first time was amazing. The second time I needed to do some more homework. <laughs> I explained. First time I came here, we did a show and they booked everything for us in advance. They booked our flights, they booked our hotels. This time they gave us the money and said, pop your shit, do what you do. And I wish I knew somebody from Atlanta that could have told me not to get no room off of Old National. <laughs> that shit funny. <laughs> no, that shit, that's really kind of fucked up. Uh, I, I got these clothes today at Target. All my shit gone. All my shit gone. You ever check in the hotel room and the crackhead in the bed? I don't worry about it, my nigga, I'll make it up for you. Yeah, you good, you good. <laughs> nigga, get the fuck out of here. It was bad, man. I had went to Waffle House to get some breakfast. And the lady was blocking the door. I said, ma'am, can I come in? She said, are you from around here? I said, no. She said, okay, good. You can come on in. 911 <laughs> be bullshitting. I called 911 to report my luggage. Y'all being kind of hurtful right now, just so y'all know. Because this is pain you hearing and y'all laughing. Uh, really, I had to borrow $30 from a crackhead. Y'all sitting up here laughing. I called 911 and I was like, hey, uh, 911, what's your emergency? I said, uh, yes, ma'am, a uh, nigga stole my bag. Uh, okay, where are you located? I said, I'm over here off of 285 in Old National. She said, uh, you were? <laughs> I said, I'm right by the Waffle House and six niggas that look like they finna kill me. She said, uh, sir, are you from Atlanta? I said, no, ma'am. She said, well, your stupid ass still should've done nothing went over there, bitch. Get your dumb ass off my phone. People be mean, man. But shout out to Omar, man, for putting me on, man. We've been working together for a long time and worked in a couple of TV shows with Omar. I've been writing scripts and stuff, so some of the sitcoms y'all see, I'm the person that's responsible for it. I worked my ass off for 15 years, and God bless me. I feel like y'all could clap for that. You know what I mean? It's, it's a lot of other turns I could have took with my life, so I appreciate O for being a blessing to me because I was uh, selling plasma when he first met me. So... <laughs> The blood bank was finna cut my ass off. They're like, nigga, one more quart, you gonna die. <laughs> nigga, I'm gonna die if I don't get another pack of noodles. Run it, bitch. <laughs> Into Omar, shit. Shout out to O. My Hollywood stories ain't like Cat Williams. Huh? Boy, them damn rednecks don't respect shit. <laughs> what the motherfucker said? Take you got plasma. It's what poor black people do, and motherfuckers in the trailer park. You ever drove through Alabama? You see it, motherfuckers? It walk like this, and motherfuckers walk like this. That's what he's explaining. <laughs> Learn your black, Buford. Learn your black. <laughs> Act like you left Alabama before, motherfucker. <laughs> 